Hey, what's going on, Happy Run Owners? It's Memphis Daryl B. I'm just showing y'all my Happy Run G50. I call it G50 Plus because a couple of upgrades I did to it. But I'm gonna get right into it. And also I'm gonna post the links of the things I bought from Amazon. And also I'll show a, a DIY how to do it if you want to. Uh, maybe, a, maybe a couple of pauses in the video so I can set up everything to show you how I did it. But just bear with me. Let me give you a quick run around on how I look. Start from here first. All right, first thing I did, you know, this is the um, this is the backup was the camera. Instead of me using mirrors, I decided to go with a camera that showed what's behind me. And all of this is just a quick setup. I don't think I did was I bought a bar, by an extension bar from Amazon. That's this right here. This bar coming from here to put on to the existing bar. And they go to things right here. So it's a quick, maybe five minute setup. Get it on there. Everything comes with it. Hook it on there. And the only thing I did was have to just run a cord. As you can see, me running it down from here. Just find it, tuck it real neat. And just a couple of things. I just ran it down real neat. Just follow it as quick as possible through the things. And I actually tied it up with the things that come with it. If not, I had some little twist ties and things like that. Uh, that I use and I ran around the frame of the bike into that. Just try to tuck as neat as possible so you can't see it. And it goes to the back up under here, through here, and this is the camera in the back. So that's the camera. And you hook it up and that's it. You let it charge up and that's the camera right there as you can see. But it's in color. Right now, it's during the day or during the high is right now. It looks like that. But once you get out on the street, oh, it's going to show beautiful. Like, it's beautiful. No lie. Okay. Next thing I did, I bought this thing. I got a cup holder. Just like, it's a little cool insulated cup holder. And you can see it hooks up. I just, I couldn't find where you put it where you want to put it at. But this is fine and convenient for me. And it uh, hooks up right here. And also right there ties in. It's insulated. As you can see, it's pretty good. And it got the little bracket thing on it. As you can see, it keeps it real sturdy and, and it holds pretty good. Okay. Next thing I have is um, this little bag right here. I put my stuff in. I need my keys, stuff like that. I also keep my phone in. So I keep my phone in here. It zips up. Um, keep little things. This right here is like a little shower cap thing that you put on if it's raining or something or you you can just put on top of it it goes on top of here so it can keep from getting wet but i hooked that up right here got two straps here let me focus better and here hook it up and that was it for that one okay next is i got the speaker oh i love the speaker man it's, it's, it's beautiful it sounds good this is music uh i guess it's called a trebit Pay like seven dollars from Amazon from it, but it's it, the music Ellie likes to see it at night. Oh man, everybody loves it. It's real loud. The bass is good on it. And uh, what I did was just it set real good where it's at right now. That's where I like it at. You can put it where you want yours at, but I like to have listen to music when I'm riding. So, and all I did was just put zip ties onto the bars, like two or three of them, just to make sure it hold down night. Nice. Crisscrossed it. Make sure it holds on pretty good. Let me show you the other side. And it goes like here. But this is a good company, man. I mean, I recommend if you use this, um, the speaker, get one from there. But I'm gonna put the link in the, put the link in there so you can get it if you want it. But I'm just gonna give you an example of how loud it is. We weren't supposed to come up with something this, this clean. <laughs> like something happened. example of that all right now what else I got on here so we go over here to this phone holder I got this from Amazon also it's pretty good pretty sturdy I always try to get something that got you know tile on things like that if not I added a piece to go inside of it some more on it back up so you can see just to make it a little tighter and it holds on real good like it's doesn't move at all holds on pretty good okay let's go down to 
Okay, we'll do the, I did a tag. You can get wherever city, state you from. You can get, um, I live in Nevada, but I still wanted to represent Tennessee where I'm from, so. I just got it, they got it actually look just like the real license plate. And you can do that yourself. And um, wherever city state you from, you can do it. It's like maybe $20, take like, uh, it took about a week for me to get it because they had to customize or whatever, but you can put whatever you want on it. I mean, it's straight down to the teal how the Tennessee license plate looks. They even have the old Tennessee license plate if I wanted to get that. These are the newer ones, but you can do that if you want to, okay? And I'll have a link in that for also. And let's go with, uh, we'll go with the alarm now. I have two alarms on my uh, bike. Okay, the first one uses, cut the bike off, uses this alarm. And I have the alarm for that one right here. You see it with the zip tie, it's kind of tucked away so no one can see it. If you move the bike, it should goes off. But as you can see it, just gonna get a good look on it. I don't know if it's going to show clear enough from this side, but it's up under there. And what you do is you just press it one time and you wait and it should make this beep right there. So the first time you move your bike, let's say someone moves your bike or something, you give it that. And the next time someone hits it again, it's going to, oh, I hit up the thing. Sorry about that. <laughs> I made it stick and cut it off. I made it stick and lock. That's on me. Let's do it again. Sorry, guys. But yes, you hit it. I got the sensitivity messed a little different on it, so. so there we go. And it's loud. So, by the time they get through with that, oh man, it's very loud. And the second one I did was kind of like a, a, another DI that I did. So, this is something I came up with. I'm pretty sure the guys do it too. I got me a nice, good chain, real thick. And uh, I put the alarm, I cut a little piece off of this and put the alarm attached it to the chain. So if the chain moves, it's gonna go off. So this is my first line of defense with this chain. The second one is this one. So this one is my first one. Second one is that one. That's why I don't have sensitivity on this one. high. This one is very high. So if it barely moves, it's gonna come on. So. That's my second alarm, and that goes with this right here. That's one click. Same thing as the other one. Hit it one time, goes off. Make sure it comes on. That's when you know it's on. So if it moves, that's it. And if I, boom, it's loud. So again, hit it. Just barely touch it. So I hit again. Down. So there we have with the alarms. So if you, I recommend everybody do this if you can. Put your alarm on a chain because if they can, I know everybody can got the right thing. They can cut it. It don't matter. They can use something to cut these chains with. So first thing I always say, man, if you can make everything, put a mini alarms on if you can, make it loud as possible, just to keep. Hopefully someone can hear it. If you can't. Um, and they'll hope for someone to call the police for you. So I just or hope the thief will run off if they're not. So they gotta find the alarms. This right here, about time they soon as they touch it's gonna go off. They're gonna have to cut this off or keep cutting to get it off. And then about time to do that one, hopefully they don't move the bike enough because I'm gonna have some more chains down here where this one's gonna go off. So man, I recommend use this. Do this setup how I did this. I don't care if it was on the you use it on your bike, or you put it on your U-lock, or whatever you put it on, do it on something. But if you lock, they probably can get it on, get it off real quick. If I got, when I put this on here, this is out the way so they can't see it up first. They'll probably see the chain, they're gonna see the chain first and they're gonna try to get to it. And it's gonna automatically go off. So. Also, now this is right here. I had a regular basket on it first. I'm gonna put a picture of the basket on if you wanna go with the basket style. Uh, I didn't like it at first. I mean, like I liked it at first, but when I started knowing I can do these, this is what made me get this. So this is pretty cool. Give a better look to it. Got a lock on it also. So 
I got it open right now so you can see it. I didn't have a lot so I can just easily remove it. But just the inside of it, it's a really nice little thing. Put your, whatever you, you go to the grocery store, good things. You can just keep stuff tucked away. It'll give you a clean, neat look. Um, thing about this one, this one was kind of hard to put on because the brackets to come with the, up under here, with the, with the happy running thing, the extension is, it wasn't, it didn't meet up with all these different holes they have for that, it still didn't go. So I had to actually drill holes in the brackets. And these, like some of the brackets that come with them right here, they didn't match up, no matter which way I turned it or whatever, it didn't match up. So I had to end up drilling holes in here to match the ones from Happy Run. The ones that come with there, because they're not like the standard ones to go over here. So I had to get a couple of, that's about the hardest thing I had to do. Everything else is like 15, 20 minutes tops to do. But this right, if you got a good drill, five, 10 minutes, if that, for each, each one of the top and the bottom, boom, put them in, set it on top, drill it in. Easy. So, and I got, you can get these off Amazon. I actually bought this from a local store here in Las Vegas for like $40, but I see they got some um, on Amazon for like $60, $50, something on the highest 80, depending on what you want. This is like a reflect, they got ones that actually got lights on if you want them for a higher price on if you want to. So, um, also, I have a, um, this is my, my bag. This is what I use to, to cover my bike up. And what I mean by that is, this is my first line of defense. I know people say, well, it ain't raining. This right here may look crazy. I cover my bike up, and it got two holes in the front where you can put your, like what I call a dummy lock. I use that for my little cheap lock system I got. Cheap lock I put on here, and I also got my... This here, and I wrap through there. This is my little first line of fence. So this one I put through the tire coming out. So that holds the thing down, and it's let lock also. And it, that's right here covers it up. So that covers it up. And also it got the things in the back where it locks to cover this up so it won't go anywhere. So if a thief approaches, first thing you have to do is cut. They can't just pull it up and take it off. They're gonna have to cut the little cheap block off, which is cheap, you know, they're gonna have to, but still they got to cut it. Like I said, I have alarms on my bike. So by the time they finish trying to, even if they just snap it off, with this lock, they can't just, the other lock, they can't just snap that one off. They're gonna have to either use a little cutters or something to get it off, but it's gonna move the bike enough for that first alarm to get off. And keep in mind, they're gonna have to pull the thing off. So even if they do cut that off, the alarm's going off. So by that, by that time, the alarm's going off for at least five, 10 seconds, or whatever the case may be, where they still have to pull the whole thing off and still get to the alarm. And if they didn't set that other one alarm, now if you got two alarms, you're gonna have to cut off and get to. So, and like I said, I still have a, I still use my, like my kryptonite things like this, but I advise anybody, this is my kryptonite, but um, if you can, I got mines on order, it's taking a while to get here, so I couldn't show you today, but if I advise them, I get a diamond U-lock. They're a little more hard to cut through, but they're better. I mean, they're, they're a little more expensive, but they're better, but they still can be cut off, but trust me, that's the best one to go through. And um, that's it, as far as my things I've done to my bike, and as far as my tires, you know, I did do the, um, the white walls. I ordered them, ordered them off Amazon too. These are the original tires that came uh, off of them. I wanted a clean and slick, like a city look. I'm in Las Vegas right here, close to the strip. So I'm like, I'm not going to the mountains with this right there. I like the city look. I want them so I can drive around, you know, stands out. And when I put the white walls on it, man, it's like, that did it. And when I put the thing right here on it, it's like, people want to know about it. That's where I get it from, how much it costs, they don't believe the price. And they ask about this also. Like, you know, just something simple. Like I said, this is like $40, $50 off Amazon. Nothing I got is outraged, trust me. I'm not, I don't try to spend a lot of money. I like for everything to look good, but I don't want to spend a lot. The only thing I advise you to spend a lot on is your locks. 
if you can. And then, like I said, to me, you might not want to put that, if you're going somewhere for a long time, put that cover on your, on your bike. Like I said, they want, before they take it off, your alarm should be going off just because of that first one. And if you get the, another one, they had, they had the, um, the two holes in the back. So you can actually put two dummy locks in the, on the front and run the back. This should set your alarms off by the time they even get a chance to pull the thing off. Like I said, I know you guys may not want to say, well, I got to be in a rush. I'm doing this. It depends on where you at. I don't use it all the time, whatever, but I use it when I'm going to be somewhere. And also, main thing, forgot about this one. Take that battery off. I carry a backpack with me and just a little nice little, little backpack, a little easy backpack. Got from Walmart. You can get it off Amazon, whatever. Actually, I'm going to give me a nice little backpack off Walmart. I mean, off of Amazon, I'm going to get to use that. But put your battery in your backpack. Wherever you're going, take it with you. Put it in your backpack. Whatever you want to do, take it off. So if by the time they break it off, do everything to it, you're still not going to have that battery. So that's why I recommend. And that's it for everything I've done on my bike. I hope you like it. Um, stay tuned. I'm doing some more things to it. Not done yet. Actually gonna buy another one and do it, trick it out totally different. I got my mind on a G100 that I'm waiting for it to come out and I'm gonna get that and do some um, things that too as well. So once again, this is Memphis Daryl B. So check it in. So y'all tell me what y'all think. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. So after I get all my locks on, at wherever I put my bike at, I like to put this on. And it's just, you know, they can't see my locks. They don't know where I got on here yet. So to take this off there, I have to, this is like a little dummy like I do. I don't even care about this one getting tore off, but they had to tear it off first just to get to it. So hopefully I'm thinking someone uh, look and see what they're doing because they can't just pull this off. They have to tear that off to get even get this thing off of it. So they don't know what's going on up under here, what kind of setup I got unless they were watching me the whole time. And this also has a little thing on the back of it where you can connect it in the back also to keep it down. So I like this setup. It's just something to do it. And also, like I said, I have alarms and everything on this bike. So when they even cut this one off, the alarm, which is like a little cheap little light I have set up on here. So like I said, when they cut that alarm off, when they even try to cut this off, it's gonna set off my alarms. And I have two alarms set up like I told you. So they're gonna have to cut that off and try to cut these alarms off. And hopefully, like I said, someone's watching or alert authorities or alert someone inside where business I met to see what's going on and tell me. So it's just like a little setup. Like I said, it's just a little hassle trying to, you know, get everything you said, but you're trying to protect your investment. So depends on how long I'm inside a place. I'm gonna do it like this. No matter regardless if it's raining outside, hot, cold, whatever, this is gonna be my setup. I don't care who's looking, how tacky it may look, I'm gonna take my investment. So, yeah, so I like it.